Hey, this is Robbie J. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics of automation clips. Before we start, let's take a quick listen to the loop I'm using to demonstrate. Alright, so we have our loop. Now we want to add an automation clip to pan the vocals left to right. Since we want both our vocal tracks to pan together, we need to make sure they're on the same mixer insert track. To do that, open the Patterns window and click the clip that you want to work with. In the top right corner of the Channel Settings window that pops up, you'll find a box that says FX. Click the number and drag your mouse up or down to select the mixer track that you want to use. Since both our vocal tracks will be panning together, we want to set them both to the same mixer track. You could make your automation clips right from the patterns window, but I like to make them from the mixer so that I don't get my playlist cluttered with too many duplicate automation clips. Alright, now open your mixer by pressing F9 or go to View Mixer. Since we set our vocal clips to mixer track 4 earlier, that's the track we'll be working with. Alright, now to actually create the automation clip, we need to right click on the panning knob and press Create Automation Clip. Doing that should create a purple panning automation clip in your playlist. In the automation clip, right clicking anywhere on the line will create a movable point. You can drag these up or down to pan right or left respectively. I'm just doing a simple left to right pan to show you how it works. Now when we listen to the song again, the vocal clips will pan left to right. Alright, you see how it panned left to right? but it wasn't very exciting, just going left to right once during each time and then doing it again. So I'm going to go and mix it up a little bit and then we'll take another listen when I'm done here. Alright, now that I've played with the panning a little bit, it should be more exciting to listen to. Alright, now that we've done a panning automation clip, we might want to add a volume one. Go back into your mixer by pressing F9 and right click on the volume slider and click create automation clip to make a volume automation clip for just the insert 4. Volume automation clips are similar to panning automation clips except that at the bottom it's low and at the top it's loud. So the same like right clicking applies. You just right click to make a point that you can move and left click to adjust it. Also the little circles that it puts in between your points you can hold your mouth left mouse button down on those and drag up and down and it'll make a curve so that it's not a straight line between your different uh, sections. Let's listen to the song once more with the volume and panning automation clips. <laughs> Notice the panning knob and the volume slider moving in the mixer while we're actually listening to the song. Automation clips are especially useful if you don't have a MIDI keyboard with sliders and knobs on them because you can basically do the same thing that you'd normally do with the knobs and sliders 
with just automation clips right inside Fruity Loop Studio. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Um, subscribe, rate, do whatever you want. Uh, check out my site, www.robbyj.com. Listen to my tracks, do whatever you want with this newfound automation clip knowledge.